Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share with you how red and yellow light therapy and NIR, near infrared therapy, are extremely beneficial for health, vitality, energy levels, sleep, skin health, collagen production, and so much more. Uh, what's really exciting about light therapy is this is a sort of new and emerging space, a new and emerging field. And the way I look at it myself personally is light is a nutrient. And I think it's very important to see light as a nutrient. The sunlight that we get in the summertime uh, is a nutrient. Here in the north, we don't get as much sunlight in winter months. So it's important to view light as a nutrient so that we can get adequate amounts of light for health, uh, longevity, and all the benefits that come with it. So red light therapy, first and foremost, is probably the most well-known light therapy out there. Uh, right, red light therapy is incredibly beneficial for a whole list of reasons, and I literally have a list here, so I'm going to just list those off to you real quick. Number one, mitochondrial function. Mitochondria produces ATP. ATP is the energy, the power storage. Uh, it creates energy in your cells, and it is very, very necessary for cellular health, cellular functionality, and all of that. Uh, number two, red light therapy is beneficial for blood circulation. Number three, red light therapy is beneficial for uh, it's anti-inflammatory. It helps with muscle recovery, speeding up muscle recovery time. Uh, it helps with collagen production. Uh, anything to do with skin, collagen, wrinkles, fine lines, scars, wound healing, that kind of stuff. Red light therapy is also beneficial for testosterone. You heard that right, men and women. Testosterone is benefited by red light therapy, and if you want to get the most benefits out of red light therapy, what you want to do is have the red light on your chest or your testicles. I'm not making this up. You can Google it. Uh, that red light therapy stimulates the production of testosterone. So what's cool about red light therapy is that when you get red light therapy, it goes about 8 to 10 nanometers deep into the skin and into the body. And what happens is when that light penetrates past your skin, those photons travel throughout your bloodstream and allow your entire benefit, or excuse me, allow your entire body to benefit from that light therapy because once again, light is a nutrient. So red light therapy is incredibly uh, beneficial. It also helps to decrease pain. Uh, if you have any sort of pain or uh, you know injury or anything like that, red light therapy applied topically to that area is incredibly beneficial to uh, speed up circulation and cellular function, mitochondria, all that kind of stuff to help heal and repair that part of the body. Uh, yellow light therapy is equally as valuable, valuable, it just has a different set of uh, benefits. So yellow light therapy is really good for uh, treating the skin. So if you have uh, skin redness or flushing, sometimes uh, people get skin redness or flushing in the summertime with too much heat, or they even get it in the wintertime from the cold, yellow light therapy helps to combat that. It also helps with rosacea, skin irritation, UV damage. Uh, it reduces the f uh, appearance of tiny uh, blood vessels, fine lines and wrinkles, things like that. It also helps to detoxify and flush waste from the skin cells. It helps to really purge the skin and kind of release uh, anything that is toxic in or on the skin. Uh, yellow light therapy also boosts lymphatic flow uh, and cellular health as well. Uh, and what's, it's, yellow light therapy is also known as amber light therapy, so that's sort of an alternative name for it. Uh, it helps the cellular movement on the top layer of the skin specifically. So red and yellow light therapies both benefit skin health. Uh, red light therapy and you know scars wounds kind of more of the heavy stuff. Yellow light therapy and more of the fine touches, uh, the, the, the little things more so. But they both ben benefit very, very much. Uh, now what's very cool is that, as you can see here, I have a sort of red, orange, yellow tint to the room. And uh, that's because I've modified the lighting in my home to mimic nature as much as possible. To have a sort of orange, yellow, red tint in the uh, nighttime as the, as the sun goes down, my, uh, you know, uh, artificial lighting, but still lighting nonetheless, helps to keep my circadian biology and hormones in check and on point. So uh, last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, NIR, near-infrared light. So near-infrared light is a non-visible uh, spectrum of light, but it's incredibly beneficial specifically for ATP production. That's the ATP uh, production in the mitochondria. That has to do with cellular energy, which involves your entire body from head to toe. Now, there's something really cool I want to share with you. I've been using red light therapy for uh, probably over a year now, but recently 
I got a new product that uh, really fits the bill for red light therapy. And as you can see here, this is called the True Light Square. I apologize for the blinking. <laughs> this is called the True Light Square from True Dark. The company is True Dark. Uh, this is the True Light from True Dark. And what they utilize here, you may be able to see it. Uh, maybe if I move it to this side, you can see it easier. There we go. You can see red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. This is utilizing both red and yellow light wave frequencies. And it's utilizing a 630, 660 nanometers for the red light therapy. It's utilizing a 580 nanometer for the yellow light therapy. And it's utilizing the 850 nanometer for the NIR, near infrared therapy. So this is utilizing four different nanometer wavelengths of light that have been scientifically proven to improve ATP production in mitochondria and the cell. And what that's doing is benefiting your skin, your blood, your lymphatic, your circulation, your ATP production, all of these variables that benefit your health, energy, and longevity. Now, one of the really important things to keep in mind and understand is that light therapy during the winter time is incredibly valuable, especially if you live in the north. If you live in a northern region where there's less sunlight, such as Seattle, Chicago, Detroit, New York, Cleveland, the list goes on and on. Any of these cities in the north or further north in Canada or you know wherever you are, Europe, wherever you may be, that light is incredibly valuable for you during this season of the year because in the wintertime we get less light and that light decline causes what's known as SAD, seasonal affective disorder. Seasonal affective disorder is where your emotional state and mood is down and you feel, uh, you, don't, you just don't feel happy, you don't feel excited, you don't feel enthusiastic or inspired to live life uh, because it's sort of a gloomy time and that's, that's natural, that's completely understandable. What's nice about the yellow red light therapy right here is that it helps to boost your mood and keep your brain optimized and keep your hormones optimized to be in a state of happiness more often. Not only that, because we live in a world full of blue light, which is, you know, our light bulbs, our LEDs, our CFLs, our touch screens, phones, tablets, TVs, computers, whatever it may be, these forms of lighting disrupt our circadian biology, our circadian rhythm, and that causes us to be awake late at night, and our brain is turned on and our melatonin production is turned off when we need more yellow and red lights to mimic sunlight so that our melatonin production starts to increase at night, at 9 p.m instead of melatonin taking longer to start to increase. So we should start to feel tired and relaxed at night, and that is one of the single most valuable benefits I feel and believe and have experienced firsthand from yellow and red light therapy. So this true light right here, what's nice about it is it's very lightweight. I've actually knocked this over multiple times. It comes on a little stand like this. It goes right under and it holds it up. I keep it under my desk and I, you can do this in the morning time or night time. Basically when the sun rises or when the sun sets, that's kind of the best times to uh, utilize red light therapy, but you only want to do yellow light therapy in the morning. The last thing I want to leave you with about this unit is what's nice about it is all the light therapy products on the market are typically quite pricey, $900, $1,000 and more. This product is just over 300 bucks, so it's much cheaper. As you can see, it's bigger than my face, so you can get your entire face, you can get your entire chest like this, or, you know, once again, if you're a man, you can, you know, utilize that however way you see fit. Uh, but what's nice about this, what I really like about it, is it's very lightweight. I've knocked it over probably 10 times now. Nothing has broken. I'm very happy with the stability of it. I actually have another light therapy product that's very heavy, and I feel like if I were to knock that over, it'd probably break the first time. This I've knocked over multiple times, and because it's so lightweight and compact, it doesn't seem to be able to break, which I absolutely love, uh, because I seem to keep dropping it, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so this light therapy product has red light therapy with 630 and 660 nanometers, yellow light therapy, also known as amber light therapy, with 580 nanometers, and near-infrared therapy with 850 nanometers. I'm gonna link all this up below so you can do your own research and read the science on it specifically. What's also nice, another function that this light has, is the ability, I'm gonna go, so this is just straight yellow light therapy, you can have a pulsating light. Now why is that valuable? What does that do for my cells and for my health that a constant light stream like this does? And by the way, it does a yellow straight, yellow blinking, 
red and yellow straight, red and yellow blinking, or just red straight and red blinking. I typically just do red and yellow, uh, but the benefit of the blinking, the pulsating yellow or red and yellow, which if I were to do a blinking pulsating, I would do red yellow. The benefit of that is that this light, when blinking, when pulsating, stimulates your cells to produce protein at a faster rate. So if you've had an injury, scar, wound, anything like that, the pulsating speeds up the recovery. Whereas the constant light like this, as you see right here, this is more calming and relaxing to the body where the pulsating is more exciting and invigorating. The pulsating is what uh, causes the, uh, the protein production, the faster protein production, which speeds things up and heals faster. So either way you get the therapy or you get the faster healing, either way you benefit. So once again, this is the true light from true dark. And uh, I'm a big fan. I love it. It's very lightweight. Once again, I've been holding it this whole time and I highly recommend checking it out. So I will link that up below. Wow. I am much darker in here, back to normal now. And once again, it comes with a little remote and a little stand, which I like. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the benefits of red, yellow, and NIR, near-infrared light therapy. Uh, once again, I'm going to put all the, nano, the uh, nanometers of light that this unit produces specifically below so you can read and do your research. Uh, and I'll put the link below to the True Light so that you can pick it up or just read more about it on their website. Thank you so much for your time. My name is David Benjamin from Healthy, Wild, and Free. If you want to learn more about light wave therapy and the benefits for health, sleep, energy, circadian rhythm, skin health, collagen production, all this kind of stuff, click the link below. And last but not least, if you haven't picked up your copy of Your Supplements Suck, it's a free report that I wrote. It's a 33-page report educating you on the value and understanding which supplements are worth purchasing and which supplements are worth ignoring. You can pick that up below as well. Thank you so much for your time. Please like, favorite, comment, and share below. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure to have a healthy, wild, and free day. Bye.